Hello everyone, and today we're going to be working on our Nissan Frontier, and we're going to be replacing the rear door speakers right here, and we're going to be using some aftermarket 6.5 inch speakers. And the items we'll be using for today, we have our aftermarket speakers, our speaker harness, our speaker mounting brackets, we have our trim removal tool set, we have our torque wrench, we have a 3 8 inch ratchet or socket wrench with a 10 millimeter and a 14 millimeter socket, thread locking compound, pliers, cutters, and a Phillips screwdriver. So let's get started. So we're going to start on the driver's side. Let me zoom right in. And the first thing we need to do is take your trim removal tool and we'll remove the seatbelt anchor plate cover. And you get right under it and it should lift up. There we go. And we'll take one finger with our thumb, push it in the middle where the switch is, and lift up. Come on. Has low resistance. There we go. Now, something to be aware of, this latch right here that we're lifting. And I'm going to see if I can move it, the camera to the side so you can get a better look. It's held in there with a piece of metal and a spring, so this can come off. So be aware, so just go easy when you take the cover off. And this still works, so we're in good shape. And with the cover removed, we can remove the seat belt bolt. So grab your 14 millimeter socket and socket wrench. Give a nice little tug, there we go. And take the bolt completely out. And I work way to the bottom of the door. So we're gonna move the cover for the seat belt anchor on the lower half. Again, get your true removal tool, pry under it. Should lift right up. And this one's fighting me a little bit. Come on. There we go, popped right off. And we're gonna also take our 14 millimeter socket and socket wrench and do the same step and just remove the bolt. And take a look at the threads. Threads look pretty good, so we're in good shape. And now that we have the seat belt all the way, we can remove the door panel. So go ahead and grab your trim removal tool and pry against the panel itself and the metal part of the door. And you should hear popping sounds. And you can start on one side or the other, it doesn't matter. And I'll go to the bottom. There we go. Inside. And the more you take off, the easier it gets. And at the very top, you have to lift it upward because there's little brackets in the top as well. And lift right up. There we go. And be very gentle just to set it aside so we don't scratch it. Looks pretty good. All right, now we get to work on what we came here for. So let's go ahead and disconnect the wiring harness. I just use a trim removal tool just because I had gloves on and didn't want to use my nails. You just press against the clip and it should lift right up. There we go. And now we can remove the speaker. So grab your 10 millimeter socket and socket wrench and go ahead and remove all three of the screws. And once you removed all three screws, this usually doesn't fall out because it's pinned. So you just got to pull on it just a little bit. It takes a little oomph. And come on. There we go. And that came right out. All right. So I'm sure you noticed the old speaker doesn't look like any of the new aftermarket ones. We're going to have to add the speaker brackets so it can bolt in the same spot of the door. So go ahead and take your speaker brackets and do a test fit with your aftermarket ones. Now, all, not all aftermarket ones are the same. Some are different. With mine right here, you can see the speaker is not flush with the bracket. And this is pretty much expected. It's nothing to worry about. So, look in our bracket right here. We need to remove, let's see, right here and here. Any of those tabs we have on the inner circle of the bracket need to come off. So take a pair of pliers and give a nice little pull. And there we go. And that snapped right out. That's what they're supposed to do. This is completely normal. Same thing with this bigger one. Give it a little bend. It might fight you a little bit. And come on, there we go. Do the same thing with the small ones. Some of those came out very easily. And one more. That looks perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. Let's do another test fit. And that fit right in like a glove. That's exactly what we're looking for. And all we have to do next is install our four screws. Now with my speaker set, it came with four screws per speaker. So just line up the holes and then screw them in. Now, there's one little thing that we need to mention, but let me go ahead and get all four of these screws in, and I'll show you. All right, so let me flip it over. So you can see these new screws I have stick through the bracket. Now, again, this may vary depending on what speakers you buy. So let's go ahead and take out these screws, 
and I'll just take out the first one just to show you. And then I'm going to take a pair of cutters, or in this case, these are Lyman's pliers. And I'm going to snap off just a little bit of the screw tip. And come on. There we go. And then, then we can reinstall this new screw now that we chopped it down just a little bit. And make sure you have safety glasses on when you're doing this. You don't want to take one of these to the eye. That'd be very bad. And let's fast forward this. There we go. And let's do a quick check. And that is flush. That looks great. That's perfect. And of course, we repeat the same step for the rest of the three screws. There we go. Shorten them down and reinstall them. And that doesn't look too bad at all. So we're not going to scratch the paint when we try to reinstall this. So there's one and there's two. And we're about at the halfway mark. Now we can install our speaker harness into our speaker. So they only go in one way. So the positive end is the fat terminal and it's going to go onto this fat connector and it should snap right in. There's one and the negative side, same thing. It's a little bit smaller and that should snap right in as well. And there we go. All right, well, let's go ahead and flip over our speaker and we're going to do a quick test fit and that doesn't look too bad so far. Unfortunately, I see a little issue right at the top left right here. Our speaker wire is being pressed against the mounting bracket and the door. So we're going to have to trim a wire path so that way we don't pinch it too much. I'm going to just take a pair of cutters and come on. There we go. And let's do one more. And these should snap very easily. This is easy plastic. And I've made a little path for the speaker wire to go. And now we can install the speaker. So go ahead and grab your 10 millimeter socket and socket wrench and go ahead and screw in all three of those screws. And hopefully you can do it without dropping the speaker. And once you have all three screws in, just make sure they're snug. You don't have to worry about over tightening them. These fit in pretty good. And there we go. Now for the hardest step of this whole process, connect the speaker harness and push till it clicks in. There you go. And just tuck that to the side. Looks beautiful. I think we're at the downhill slope of the process. We're going to install the door panel. And the whole idea is you want to start at the top, get over that latch and start snapping everything in. All you have to do is press against the door. And once you hear it snap in, kind of like, yep, just like that, start working way down and just work all the way around and make sure all the fasteners line up with the holes. Next, we can install our upper seatbelt bolt. So grab your thread locking compound and get the top unscrewed. And just throw a little bit on the threads. There we go. And you want to go ahead and start screwing this in by hand and make sure you do not cross thread this. So once we get started, there we go. And this should go in very easily. And yep, once the bolt is finger tight, go ahead and grab your torque wrench. And we're going to go ahead and set it to 36 foot pounds. And it looks like 35 plus one is 36. Grab your 14 millimeter socket with it. And that's what we love to hear. And we'll repeat the same step on the lower seat belt bolt. So a little bit of thread locking compound. If I can get it out. There we go. And go ahead and start with finger tight. The whole idea is we don't want to cross thread this. So take your time. And there we go. It's just about finger tight. Then go ahead and grab our torque wrench. And we're going to torque this one down as well. And get a little test pull. There we go. And for this bottom cover right here, just push it right in. There you go. And that snaps right in. And the last cover we have to install is at the top. So I'm going to start with the top. Press down. Now all you have to do is push it in evenly until you hear all four snaps. And make sure it looks flush. And come on. There we go. So that looks flush. And do a little check. Goes up and down, latches in. That looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and move on to the passenger side. Grab your trim removal tool. But I want to show you one little extra thing you may need to know just in case you have an accident. So even though I'm pressing on that middle latch, see it still came out. That's completely normal. That's nothing to worry about. I want to show you how to put that right back on. All right, let it focus in. There we go. All right. So our latch is slotted. Let me turn it to the side. There you go. See how it's slotted right there? So grab your trim removal tool. Press against this metal spring and lift upward and it should snap right back in. That's exactly what you want. All right, so there's one more thing I want to show you. Let me go ahead and remove the top bolt for the seat belt. Lower it down. And on the bottom one right here, 
Notice how I'm not taking off the bottom bolt. Instead, I'm removing this panel that's around the bottom part of the seat belt, and it pops right off just like the door panel itself. So let me see if I can work that out. So with that only difference between the passenger side and the driver's side, you should be able to repeat those same steps to install the second speaker. I'm sure you notice there's an orange fastener right there. This is normal. Sometimes the fasteners will stick to the door versus the door panel. So I just grabbed my trim removal tool, popped it out, and reinstalled it to the panel itself. And you should have no problem at all in reinstalling your panels. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe.